Thank you for taking time out to come up here. I'm going to quickly go over, as you pick up your Chromebook today, what are the responsibilities, policies, and procedures that go along with getting this device. So a little bit about why we're going one-to-one. -one. Our superintendent, Dr. Williamson, wants every student in Hook County to have access to a device every day. So that looks different at each of our locations, but here at the high school, you have the option to check the computer in and out every day, or you can take it home with you and return it at the end of the year. This is a logo that we designed saying that we really want to amplify and accelerate our students learning here at Hope County Schools. So now that every student has a device, we can take this learning outside of the four walls of our classroom, get our students interacting with other kids in North Carolina or even overseas, or maybe even get them talking to a specialist that isn't local and we wouldn't normally have that opportunity. We're also saying that when our students graduate from Hope County High School, we want to make sure they're globally competitive for whatever they want to do next, whether that's college, career, an internship, or some branch of the military, whatever your child's dream are, we want to make sure that they get that shot. We can also customize our curriculum. Not all of our students learn the same way. Some need a video, some need to build it, some need to interact with others. So we can set up these stations for our children in our classroom and then the teacher can work more one-on-one -on -one with kids who need to go over something or really push their thinking further. We can also get more up-to-date information on these devices so now your child doesn't need to carry home all their textbooks because we can upload this and it's easier to get to on our devices. So the responsibility when you get your Chromebook falls a lot on the students. They have to make sure they know where that device is at all times on and off campus. Parents and guardians, I'd like for you guys to understand there are no fees to get the device, but if anything happens while it's in your possession, there can be some fees associated. And then the teacher's role in all of this is to customize our curriculum for the students in our classroom. And also, if anything is going wrong with the device, let your teacher know so you can come to the media center and we can send it in to get fixed. There are no fees to get the device today. However, if you take it home, it is due back at the end of the year. If it is not turned in on time after testing, there can be some late fees, and you can find that in your handbook on page 5. If the device gets broken in your possession and needs to be repaired, the first repair is covered by Hope County Schools, and the other repair charges can be found on page 6. And then if your device gets lost or stolen, you can see those fees on page 7. However, we have taken the steps to engrave all of our devices to help limit that. When you pick up your Chromebook today, Hope County has also got a case for everyone. We ask that you please leave your device in the case. You can see it strapped in on the four corners so you can unzip it and work right out of the case. The idea here is that if something happens and it falls off a desk or it's in your book bag and you drop the bag, now you've got a little bit extra protection. So please keep that device in the bag. Also, our devices are fairly light, so we see a lot of people grabbing them by the screens. Please be careful doing that because you can cause damage to your screen. Also, don't hack, stack excuse me, heavy objects on the, on the device. And if you do need to clean it, please do not use Windex, but instead use just a damp cloth. When we talked to other counties who were already one-to-one, -one, these were the biggest problems that were causing most of their damages. So you're in class, the bell rings, you're ready to go see your friends, go to the next class. Be careful not to leave any pens, pencils, earbuds, or anything on that keyboard and then shut your screen. Because when you do that, you're going to crack it and that's going to be what your problem is. So be very careful, make sure you clear everything out. That has been the biggest problem in other counties. So if you decide to take the Chromebook home with you and return it back at the end of the year, you need to be responsible and make sure you charge that device every night. So we're going to give you a charger when you check out, and to get that replaced is about $50. So we're encouraging students to leave the charger at home, charge it at night, and just bring your device to school. But that's a conversation you and your parents need to have. Just know it is your responsibility to come to school with that computer charged. During the day, make sure you know where your device is at all times. So when you go to the cafeteria, don't trust your best friend to look after your device while you go get in line because if they start talking and forget about it and it gets stolen, it's still checked out to you. So make sure you're careful and know where it is at all times. After school, make sure you talk to your coaches, teachers, or band directors, whoever you're with after school, and before you walk away from your device, ensure that it is locked up. If you ever do see a device left unattended, please help us out. Return it here to the media center so we can get it back to the right student. Because all students on campus have the same bag, we ask that you please get a sheet of paper and put your name on the front, maybe a phone number on the back. That way your device is easy to identify without having to turn the computer on. 
So in order to get on our computers, you have to know your student account and email. If you don't, please let us know so that we can reset that for you. We are monitoring our emails, and I don't want you to think that someone is reading your emails, but we have some inappropriate language that is flagged, and if you put that in an email, it will notify us, and we will come have a conversation with you about that. We also want you to understand that this is an internet-based device, but you are locked into Hope County Schools domain. So it does not matter if you are here, at home, at McDonald's, regardless of the Wi-Fi you are on, you are still locked into Hope County Schools domain. So there are some websites you cannot get to for our students' safety. We can also publish your work if you allow us to do that. So there is a reddish pink form that you will sign saying that we can or cannot publish your child's work. So let's say they write a news broadcast. They can now record themselves given that. We can publish it to YouTube so you can see it at home or maybe with another class in another state that our kids are working with. If you do not feel comfortable with that, that is fine. Please check no, do not publish. Your child will still create it. We just will not publish it if you are not comfortable with that. If you do allow us to publish their work, we really want to keep our students safe, so we are not allowed to have their name, address, phone number, any personal information cannot be on any work that we publish because, again, keeping them safe is our main priority. Also, keep that in mind with your username and password. Don't give it out to your best friend. Don't trust anyone with it because if they log on under your name, it's tied to you and you can get in trouble. So please be very careful with your personal information. So now you are going to check out your Chromebook. It will be yours until you graduate or leave Hope County Schools, so be very careful not to eat or drink around it because accidents happen. Be conscious when you're in class where you're sitting it so that it doesn't fall off because if you take care of your device this year, even though you turn it back into us, we'll update it and clean it for you. We'll return that same device to you next year, so if you take care of it, you will get a nice one back next year. So you are now going to get three forms, a blue sheet, which is your participation in the one-to-one -one program the red pink sheet which is the photo and video release form and the purple technology honor code which says you may bring your own computer you can even have a cell phone in class but that you will not distract other students from learning with these things also it's saying that while you are online whether on your computer or on a computer in the computer lab or media center that you will behave yourself while you are online I really want to thank you for your attention if you have any questions please let us know